Hi, I'm Jonathan Pickup. I used to write the training manuals for Vectorworks. I wanted to talk to you about saved views. I was teaching a client the other day and we went through the concept of saved views and why they're so important. They are really a big time saver. Now I've previously made a short on saved views. I'll link that just up here. You'll see it just up here when I do it. There'll be a link to the saved views. It's a short, but it doesn't go into the detail of how you make them, why you make them, and what makes them so fundamentally useful. At the moment, you can see my entire plan. But what I really want to do is rotate this plan to make it usable. So I'm going to use my rotate tool here, my rotate plan tool. Zoom into this corner of the building. Make sure I come down here to this corner of the building. So now I've rotated my view. That's cool. Uh, I want to work on the dimensioning, for example. I don't want to see the cars. I don't want to see the furniture. I really want to develop a plan which has got just the information on it that I want. So I can turn these off. And a really quick way to turn these off is to use the visibility tool. That's this one here. Now, the way I use the visibility tool is classes. Uh, turn the classes off. This is invisible. And my preference is to make all classes visible. So now I can just click on the things I don't want to see. Uh, that's the doors. Let's get rid of those. Uh, now, the, the doors, I really need to turn off the individual parts of the door. That's the ID tag. So let's look for classes. Let's look for the ID. And what do we find? We find ID tag. Let's turn that off. Oh, that looks much better. They've gone. And it's much easier for me to do the drawing that I want. So that's quite a lot of work to do that. Then I go somewhere else and I double click on this. My visibility tool, all my classes will be turned back on again. So there's all my classes turned on. So let's go back to a top plan view. I want to go to the next floor up, which is floor two. And I want to do something similar, but I need to go through with my visibility tool, turn off the things that I don't want, turn off my demolished walls, and so on. So there's a lot of work to do to get the SAID view to do what you want. I'm going to go back views, back, back, back back, back. That's the view that I had. So I'm going to save this as a saved view. Maybe I get rid of those as well, get rid of the section lines. So to start with, what I'd like to do is to have an existing plan. So I don't want to see that, don't want to see those, don't want to see that. No, I don't want to see that. And I'll hide that as well. So I've now got my existing plan. This is my existing view. What I'd like to do now is save this as a saved view. So my saved views are up here. Save view. I don't have an existing plan, so I'm going to create a new one. This is going to be my existing view or my existing plan, but it's floor one. So it's floor. So floor dash one existing. Floor one existing. Save. I don't want to save those things, but I do want to save this. And I want to save that. And really importantly, make sure that your active class is an unclass. So what it's, Vectorworks has done is it's remembered all the, all the options that I had before. Now, these are the only options that I needed. Uh, so I'm just going to leave that. I've only turned off a few classes. I've now saved that as a view. So it appears here in my floor one existing. When I double click, it restores that. So if I go back to a top plan view, if I turn all of my classes back on, Let's get rid of that and we'll just turn everything on. And you can see it's got everything in it. And if I go back to my save view, floor one existing, jump straight away and I can just see what I need to see. So now that I've got one save view, I could duplicate this. I right click duplicate and this will be floor two existing. Let's edit this. So right click, we're going to edit that. We're going to go up here. It's floor two existing. Yep, everything's the same. But I'm going to change this to floor two. And that's the only thing I need to change. So when I double click on floor two existing, you can see things very similar to what we had before. Now I'd like to get rid of that. This is my demolished. This is, we're going to get rid of the kitchen. Get rid of those dimensions if we need to. There's a, some toilet we can get rid of. Get rid of that. And I think that's all I need to get rid of at the moment. But I've now changed what I need to have in my save view. So what I can do is right click and choose redefine that view. And I'm going to redefine the layer visibility, the class visibility, and OK. 
So let's go double click on floor one. Great. Double click on floor two. And so you can see my saved view is now doing exactly what I want and it's only showing parts of it. So now let's create another saved view. This is going to be my floor two proposed. So I'm going to duplicate it first. So this is not floor two existing two. This is floor two new. And we're going to then go through and turn on everything that we want. So we want to hide some of the stuff here. We want to hide our demolished walls. Which other walls are demolished? So those are the walls we don't want here. So there we are. So let's hide. Let's hide our demolished walls. Cool. Uh, none is our active class. Let's zoom in. And we've got something in the background here, so let's hide that as well. Now we need to start turning on the things that we need. So maybe the easiest way to do this is to turn on every class to start with. Now we can start turning on, turning off the classes we don't want to see. I don't want to see demolished. I don't want to see those rooms at the moment. I don't want to see my furniture. Uh, but I do want to see all the rest of the information that I've got there. So now that I've reset that, this is my proposed or my new plan. I'm going to go back to my save view, right click. I'm going to redefine that and that's my floor two. So this makes it really quick to go to my existing floor, my existing upper floor. Uh, I want to hide that. That's the wall scan. So let's redefine this one again. Redefine. Yep, that one. Floor two with everything on it. I've got my rotator grid and you can see I've actually created some of these previously. It's my electrical view. It's my framing view, my floor framing so I can see where my all my floor joists are, the existing plan. And these make it really quick for me to jump through it. Now, don't forget, you can also use these to help make up your viewports by setting the saved view you want. You can then create your viewport quickly. The saved view settings are not connected to the viewport. So you can use them to help create the viewport. But once the viewport's created, its layer and class settings are completely independent from any saved views you may have created. Now, I hope you found that useful, the, the certainly bringing together the redefining and the way that we use the, the saved views and we can create and we can duplicate. I think this is a really useful trick. And if you're not saving views, you are costing yourself a lot of time. Just imagine how quick it is for me to go from floor to new to floor to existing and I don't have to turn things on and off. To change back again, I have to go back. I have to remember what classes I turned off. Something to do with the walls. I think there's some... I need to turn off wall demolished. I need to turn on wall new. Yeah, that's right. I need to turn on my doors and windows. There's a window here missing. I needed to turn on my kitchen. kitchen new, turn that on as well. And you can see there's a lot of work goes on to, to recreate the view, whereas a save view is so much quicker. Double click, everything's there that I want to see. These are really useful, fundamental really, to using Vectorworks well. Now I've been teaching Vectorworks for a long time and I've taught probably thousands of people to use Vectorworks. These are the tricks that I think are really important. If you'd like to join me online monthly, there are four workshops every month. Come and join me, become a member of my YouTube channel or a subscriber on my website and you'll get the chance to come and join me for sessions where we go into details like this and you get a chance to stop me to question why we do things and to see this information in real detail. This will really save you a lot of time, probably save you minutes every day. One client said it was going to save hours a day. I reckon this is probably going to save you 5-10 minutes a day. So if you do the maths, 5 minutes a day, it's about half an hour a week, which is about 4 hours a month. 4 hours a month, 4 12s, that's 48. That's 48 hours a year. That's nearly a... Well, it's not nearly. That's over a whole week saving over a year. Just think of the savings just by implementing some of these little tricks. Join me for the Getting Started webinars. You'll have a lot of fun and you'll learn a whole lot of these fundamental things that are so useful. Thanks for watching.